Welcome back, Beer Z. <laughs> Thank you. Look at you. You're wearing a skin tight short sleeve hoodie <laughs> that has a pattern so similar to the wall that it is not certain you're wearing a shirt at all. What, what made you buy that? Instagram ad. It's just I... quite tight. Yeah. Now you didn't say anything and now I just feel like a bully. I don't fucking care. Do you look like you're trying to look sexy but convincing everyone that you're trying not to look sexy? You think it accentuates parts of your body that others would be attracted but to. But it's really just this. Well, there's just... It's, this. It's, yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, let's go. What are we fucking learning today, boys? Gravity. Ooh, gravity. Yeah. Gravity. Who sings that? Gravity. There's a couple songs that, call it, that invoke gravity. Take from me. John Mayer. Yeah. You know what much about gravity? I know that there's a certain level of space that it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, interesting. Right? When you go up in the, our rocket ships, eventually there's an atmosphere that you pass no more gravity. The force of gravity is proportional to the mass of the two bodies yep. divided by the Volume. distance of how far apart they are. Okay. So this is really nice. This is this is what gives us the force of gravity between two objects. None of this shit makes fucking sense. Remember last week how I was starting to say like I'm starting to believe in domes and I might be a flat earther. <laughs> God. I'm not gonna ask it. I'm not gonna do it. Go ahead. I'm gonna be mature. Are you gonna say, why do we need to know this? No, no, I'm gonna be mature. But why would I ever need to know that number? The F. Let's say that someday the Earth becomes inhospitable to human beings. Going to Mars, boys. We've got a choice of which planets we can actually go to, or space stations, and they have different levels of gravity, you could go live on the moon. And the moon has a far lower gravity than the Earth does. Do you think people fuck in space? I think so. If you pulled out and tried to- Got a little cum shot out of the- Yeah, you're gonna have to scoop that <laughs> out of the air and throw it out of the airlock. <laughs> or scooping goldfish out of a tank at the pet store. I thought you were gonna talk about out of the big thing of edible goldfish. You make Gold. it so big, the aperture, of the goldfish box, because you want to get your whole hand in there. No, I'm talking with a cup. Yeah, but how do you close it then? You well, just rip it open and you rip it cl back close. You trust that you're going to eat it so quickly that it's not going to get stale. Remember when you couldn't skydive? So, I'm too fat to jump out of the plane. <laughs> well, you couldn't skydive because gravity is so strong that if you jumped, even an uh, industrial strength parachute would not be enough to prevent you from slamming into the earth. <laughs> Let me sky that. You have too much mass. We could use this equation. That's right. To find out when I could skydive. Right. And I remember that they let you in the plane up with us and that <laughs> I thought I should raise a hand of concern. Is there gravity between you and me right now? Yes. Right? Yes. Magnets. Forces of mass have gravity. Well, at least I'm so not heavy that it's negligible. I definitely feel sitting next to you, something sort of pulling me in, sucking me in. <laughs> Who are the big names in gravity? Einstein. Yep. Galileo. Maybe. Oh, oh, fucking Newton. Newton. Up, down. Yep. Was Newton the one that uh, came up with Darwinism? No, that would've been Darwin. <laughs> I didn't realize how dumb that fucking question was. Yeah. All right. Newton threw the apples. Boink, boom. Yeah, the apples came down. Yeah. Newton had three laws. Space. <laughs> yep. Space <laughs> was his law. Do you know what a black hole is? It's, I don't want to think about it. You know, when I start thinking about space too much, I have panic attacks. It's cool, though. There could be a black hole right here. Realistically. Well, if there were a black hole right here and you were not three. being sucked into it, that would be a real testament to how much you've let yourself go. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I fucking love gravity. Gravity's cool. I like gravity, I don't like space. Mm. I don't like to think about what's out there and what's going on. Well, the moon orbits the Earth. The moon and the Earth are orbiting the sun. The sun. The sun has 
Gravitational force. Because it is the it's the big boy. It's the most massive. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't think that was gonna be right. Of course it is. It's the big boy. Does the sun gravitate around anything? Mm. The universe is constantly expanding. How crazy is that? Space continues to grow. Where's the wall? Like, where is it? There is no wall. You should go to the Children's Museum and sit in one of those planetariums yeah. and listen to that Tom Hanks narrator tell you about all this and look up at the stars. It makes me believe in something. Well, it should make you believe that we are quite inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, it's pretty scary. And maybe that'll make you not care so much about buying an Instagram hoodie that you would wear in your third trimester it, it, to, <laughs> to say, soon I'll have my body back. It makes me feel like I don't care about anything. I'll go eat two more bagels. Good. Who gives a fuck? Sure. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's gravity. Enjoy right. it. Thank you, Francis. My pleasure. Appreciate it.